Okay. Uh, well, so armed with Moon Pearl, I will go into the Dark World from the back of Kakariko Village. Because there's a whole lot of things over here. Yeah, I'm not big on jalapenos either. I don't like... I, don't know, I shouldn't say I dislike them. I, I've, I've really like gone out of my way to avoid them, really. Uh, hmm. While I'm here, yeah. Yeah, like I don't dislike spicy food. Uh, but, like, some flavors of spice just, like, don't do it for me. Like, I, I have a Caribbean spice mix that I put on, like, so many different foods. Alright, Dark World, what do you got for me? Okay. Yeah, like, I like the Caribbean spice. It's great. It's not, like, super hot, but it is flavorful, which is, you know, what I'm after in food. No, no, no. Okay. There's that big key. This is a terrible idea. I'm not good enough at bomb jumps to do this reliably. That was my only bomb, too. Alright, I'm glad that worked, because that was my only bomb. Let's go get more bombs. That room worked out better than I had hoped. Get in the pit, and off we go. That's not where I want to go. One more chest in this area. Fucking mummies. Oh yeah, take me back to the start. Lol. <laughs> Fucking... Wallmaster is the name of that hand enemy. And uh, sometimes, he's actually useful. It's very rare when you actually want Wallmaster to grab you, but when you do... Boy, is he useful. Um, oh, I can't. That's not, what? I hate these mummies. They do so much more damage than is reasonable. I'm lighting them on fire. Pull the statue on top of the switch to hold it down so I can go into the room where I'm unable to walk out because of dudes in the way.
Small key, get me out of here. All right, run to the left here. And step out. God, whatever you do, do not get hit here. I'm all out of potion. So... Yeah, no potion, no powder to turn anti-fairies into fairies. Um, I'm 100% at the mercy of finding things that give hearts. Whoa! I turned into the bunny thing. Map. Okay. My best option here, frankly, is to take a hit and death warp back to the front door. Because that's right there. There's an order that technically you're supposed to do these in. I'm only entertaining it because I kind of want the pickups. Good enough. Mummies! I just, oh my gosh. This is not going to work. It worked, okay. I don't have a sword. I can't do this. You need a sword to slash the vines. <laughs> I'm so foolish. Oh no, that was all for nothing. I should have just gone with my gut initially and just gone to Kakariko. I know the stun prize is just money. That's worthless to me. I'm dying. Rupees won't heal my wounds. Yeah, I'm, uh, I'm happy with the setup. Um, the blinking is a very nice addition to the thing. Yeah, the fact that there's just straight up an option to make the guy blink is very nice. Okay, first things first. Let's go to the treasure chest game and see if I can find anything useful here. 50 bucks. And a heart piece, which does nothing for me. There should be two more chests in town. Green potion. Okay. I, I have all of the bottles. There's four bottles in this game. I have them all now. I didn't expect that to happen. Oh my god, thank you, Dead Guard, for giving me that fairy. Oh! Oh, that's very nice to see. Okay. Uh, I don't have a sword still, but I feel less breakable than I did before. Is this? This is also a crystal. Okay, I do need to go in here. Hmm. 
Welcome to Thieves Town. Big key right away. All right. I'm not sure why they call this dungeon Thieves Town. Like, I know the folks in here are thieves, but it's not a town. You know? If it was like Thieves Hideout or something, that maybe? Thieves Town? No. The town was outside. Slow down city. Two more chests to get on this floor. There is this one. And this one. The map. Okay. The map, not exactly useful if you're like me. Hey! Now the party has started. Unless she has arrived with the custom emote. It's going, it's going well. Uh, I managed to waste a little bit of time by trying to start uh, Dungeon 3 in the Dark World. Uh, oblivious to the fact that I could not complete Dungeon 3 because I didn't have a sword. Oh, okay, I'm going to keep going through the dungeon. I could go fight the boss right now. Because of boss shuffle, uh, the boss is available right now. Normally the boss in this place, you need to like rescue the girl from the basement, and then you find out she's not actually the girl, she's the boss in disguise. Um, but because I have boss shuffle on, it is not that boss. Or at least I assume it's not that boss, it very well may be. The whole point of shuffle is we don't know until we get there. But I could walk in and see who it is. But doing that would mean fighting him, and if I need something from later in the dungeon to fight that boss, then, you know. Basically, there's three more chests for me to check before I'm actually going to go fight the boss. These lizards do so much damage if they hit you. Much more than they have any business doing. Ow. Oh! Yeah, exactly like that. That was for demonstration purposes and 100% intentional, I assure you. Oh, uh, I got the mirror though, that's... okay. The mirror is actually huge. It lets me go back to the light world without doing the save and quit. I'm not opposed to the save and quit, it's just, you know... Sometimes, and some things, you need to actually, like... Basically, it's helpful, it unlocks more things, I can do shit now. Guy with a rock. This is not the order I usually do these rooms in. Doing it this way, though. Ice rod! Okay. Oh, God. If that's the ice rod. If the boss in here is Trinex, I am going to go fight something else. Or I'm going to step out and buy potions. One of those two. Compass. It is... Oh, the Armist Knights. Okay, I can take those guys easily. Like, Armist Knights? They're the first boss in the game.
And I, I, I picked up the silver arrows, so I'm gonna, like, uh, this is one of the wonderful things about the randomizer is I will make quick mincemeat of these, uh, these bosses in here. Yeah. <laughs> I have the arrows for killing Ganon. <laughs> What's the first boss going to do against those? Also, am I crazy or does the uh, sound of those guys dying kind of remind you of uh, Suburban Sasquatch? <laughs> oh, I mentioned Graveyard Ledge. Let's go do Graveyard Ledge. Still don't have a sword, though. Uh, we'll check bumper ledge won't get out of the way. See, the sword, though, I need a sword in order to cut vines in Dungeon 3. I literally can't beat the game without getting a sword. Like, you need all seven crystals to gain access to Ganon's tower. And, uh, one of those crystals is in that last room in Dungeon 3. Alright. Eh, I'll pick those up. Alright, let's see what King's Tomb has. Twenty bucks! Okay. I'm glad that somebody built this ornate chamber in the graveyard, hidden under this super heavy tomb. Uh, to hide 20 bucks. <laughs> Look, they put it there in the Dark World, too. <laughs> Is the King's Prize $20? And another 20 bucks! Graveyard is just full of money. In small denominations. Okay, well. I hesitate to call that a bust. It wasn't quite what I was after, but, you know. No, that's totally a bust. There was... I got 60 bucks. Can I go to visit the catfish? No. Dang it. Okay. That's not worth my effort. Or my bombs. We will go south from the village. God, with no sword, dashing is difficult. Frankly, I don't get my hands dirty with a shovel for anything less than 80. have the Titan's Myth, so I can't get into this Myth Chain area. We are just gonna run over here. Talk to this fella.
That is true. Oh ho ho! Titan's mid, I just mentioned to you. Let's get out of here before the timer uh, reaches zero. Okay, well with the Titan's mitt, I'm officially turning around. And I'm going to rescue a frog. Hello, Mr. Frog. I know he looks like a frog, but that's just the effects of the Dark World. He's actually a dwarf. So that's even more up your alley, Leshy. <laughs> I take him back to the light world and I bring him back to his husband and they live happily ever after. Ta-da! Now I leave and I come back and I talk to them. And they reward me with 10 arrows. They don't want me doing the job. That is possibly my favorite piece of edited text in this whole randomizer. Okay, let's do these hammer pegs. Why? Oh my gosh! Without the sword, item dash doesn't work properly. I've never encountered that before, but that's good to know. Okay. Pegs it awful suspicious. Oh, heart piece. Up to half, okay. Yeah, it's like... Item Dash is weird. It's one of those things that's not technically supposed to be in the game, but because it was in the original release of the Japanese, uh, it, stayed in, it stayed in. Uh, what you can do is... Uh, by hitting dash and the item button at the same time, uh, you sort of dash and do the item's effect. Uh, it's usually the most useful with the hammer, but also either of the canes are also useful with it. Like, I could dash with the blue cane, and I'd just dash and have the, the force field around me the whole time. Which is useful in some circumstances. Oh. Wait out here, chest. Another heart piece. Alright. Grab that. Now, fortunately, the chest does not wander. Let's go visit the tree kid. Oh my gosh, he gave me a sword. Thank you so much, Tree Kid. I am forever in your debt. Unfortunately, you're a tree now. Fairy, come back. Oh my god, insurance policy. I love it. You can live. Oh yeah, having a fairy in a bottle is like it's it's super useful. It is so very useful. Cause if you die, then the fairy comes out and it says, hey, you shouldn't be dead. Fifty bucks, okay. I wonder, I have a sword, but it's not the Master Sword. Can I... Can I activate Bombo's Tablet? Let's find out. Oh, the chest, uh... The, uh, the dude I went over and talked to over here, um... He's a lockpick. He opened the chest for me.
Yeah, that's the uh, the end point of what they call Smith Chain. And yeah, 50 bucks. Which, I don't know what the conversion rate is, but I do know Hyrule is on uh, some sort of precious gem cur currency, so it's probably actually a decent amount of money. Alright, they call this place Hype Cave. Let's see if it lives up to the hype. The Master Sword. Okay. Red Cane. Very nice. Bombs. Okay. Yeah, this is a, a very nice cave. The Red Cane. Super useful. Master Sword. Essential. Hmm. And yeah, now that I have swords, I can do the item dash. Look at what's around here. Um, okay, red crystal and mire. Red crystal. Uh, hmm. All right. The first thing I'm gonna do, I can item dash through here. See, look at that. That's very nice. I'm gonna check the pyramid ledge. Maybe I'll go visit the catfish. Uh, oh, the blue mail. Okay. I'll go pick up that armor. Now my sprite has changed. At some point, I do want to make a custom sprite for this game, but also that's effort. It's so much effort, holy shit. Like... No! There's only a few people I know who, like, actually have their own custom sprites for this. A lot of the time, they're, like, fan-made. Which is fine. You know what? I'm gonna pop in here real quick. I'm gonna buy some potions. There we go. Yeah, like, and even on the, uh, even on the thing where you, like, select your customs right for the game, um, the ones that are, like, people that I actually know of who are in the community, uh, they don't even play that much. Like, Grand Pooh Bear has a sprite for this. Now, I can't remember the last time I saw him do a uh, randomizer seed. He's mostly a uh, Mario Maker guy. God, he may have... I don't know if you pay any attention at all to the uh, Mario Maker side of YouTube, but he may have bitten off more than he can chew. Uh... <laughs> But trust me, I could play this game, like, all day. I don't foresee myself getting tired of this. <laughs> yeah, all that for 20 bucks. Yeah, Grand Pooh Bear has started a challenge that's called, uh... He's calling Iron Bros. And the story with it is, uh... He needs to get through uh, 50 regular, no, 50, yeah, 50 normal difficulty levels. Possibly easy. The easiest difficulty level you can get in the game. 50 of them, in a row, without dying once. And at the start of the challenge, he was like, oh, that's going to be easy, that's no problem, let's do it. Here's the thing, trying to get through 50 levels without finding one that's, you know, just pick a pipe, and if you get the wrong one, you die... Um, that's difficult. So it's been, like, eight months of him trying to get through this thing, and he just hasn't been able to do it. Can I even get into Mire? No, I don't have ether. Okay. Yeah, he's just like, if... He's like, if I had known how difficult this was going to be, I would have set the goal a little bit lower. That was weird. 
10 arrows. Uh, yeah. I know Kath has uh, some spice related diversions, I think. Hey, yeah, this is just 100% luck of the draw, is what that is. Let's go back and finish off Skull Woods. I think the person who got the hot the the person I know of who got the highest score is uh, another uh, player called Shojo, and she managed to get up to last I checked or last I heard forty six. And like she is super good at the game, like she went to G she went to GDQ and she like basically carried her team, which is ridiculous considering how good the rest of her team is. They were like, oh yeah, this is the first time we've invited Shoujo to the thing because, you know, she didn't seem that interested in it before. And then she shows up and just dominates from day one. It's like, yeah, okay, that sounds like her.